In this video, I'm going to show you how to launch other Adobe Captivate projects from an Adobe Captivate project. This question has come up a bunch of times in the forums and even some of my clients have asked me about this. It's not a well understood feature of Adobe Captivate, but it is under certain circumstances quite useful to do. So if you don't have a learning management system, what you can do is actually you can have sort of a main Captivate project and link to other projects from within that Captivate project file. Let me show you how it's done. So you can see here on my desktop, I've got four different Captivate projects. I've got Menu, I've got Module 1, Module 2, and Module 3. Let's go ahead and open up the first one here, which is Menu. And I've got three shapes used as buttons on this slide here. So if I select the first one, let me show you how I can link to another Adobe Captivate module. So if I go into the Properties Inspector, and this has already been set up to use as a button. I'm going to change the on success action to open another project. Now, your first thought might be, well, if I'm going to select a CPTX file, how are people going to view that? Well, don't worry about that for a moment. Let me show you what's involved here. So I'm going to click on the folder icon, the browse icon, and navigate to where module one is located and we'll click on open. Again, it seems a little bit counterintuitive, but that's okay. Let's do module two. We're gonna open another project, click on the browse icon and select, in this case, module two. And we'll do the same thing for module three. So we're going to open another project, browse, and find module three. It's important you keep all these files together, probably in the same folder, but certainly keep them in their original location so that Captivate can reference them. So now I have this ready to go. I can literally just publish this to my desktop here. Now it's incomplete at this point, but I'm gonna upload this to a web server to find out the URL of this particular project. So let's start off by publishing to computer. It's gonna be called menu, and uh, I'm not gonna zip it up like I would if it were for an LMS. We'll just keep it as a folder, and we'll go ahead and we'll publish. I don't need to view the output at this time, and I'm just gonna minimize Adobe Captivate here. And there's the folder where I've set that up. So I'm just going to place that in the upper left hand corner here. And I'm going to open up my browser and visit where I use a web server, in this case, uh, Amazon AWS. I'm going to sign into my console. Their web services um, console is the S3 console, so I'm going to select that. And I'm going to select one of my buckets. Buckets are sort of like folders. And I'm going to click on the upload button here. And I can drag this menu folder right onto the browser here. Scroll down to the bottom and we'll go ahead and press upload. Now this won't be a complete project. This is mainly to find out what the URL is for the main navigation project. So it's technically incomplete at this point. But again, we're just going to set it up so that we have a location that we can reference in our other modules. Okay, so as you can see, we've successfully uploaded that main module to my web server. I'm going to go ahead and close this window right now. And we'll scroll down until we find that particular item that we just uploaded. It's just called menu. And I'm going to click in there and I'm going to find the index.html file. We'll click on that. And here's the link to that particular item. So I can just click on this 
and this will bring you to that first module. So I can select the URL at the top here and I'm just going to press Control C to copy that and uh, I'm going to minimize this browser for the time being. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up module one and presumably there'd be a lot more content here but for our purposes today I've got a return to main button here. I'm going to select uses button, set the action to open URL or file and we're just going to paste in the link to our main project file there. You can have it open in the current window, that should be fine. And we can go ahead and press save. And we're going to go ahead and publish this to our desktop here. So it's called module one and scalable HTML content is fine. We'll go ahead and we'll publish this. I don't need to view the output. I'm also going to open the other two modules as well. So let's open those. and make the same change to these ones here. So we'll set up return to main as a button and we will open URL or file. I'll paste that in again, make sure it's current and we'll go ahead and we'll publish this to our desktop. Now it's called module two. And once more for module three, Uses button, action, open URL or file, paste in that link. Again, just confirm that we're in the current window and we'll go ahead and publish to computer now. There's module three. So we're all done now. Let me minimize Captivate. Here are the three additional modules that we've just created. If I go into the original menu folder that's been published and go into the callees folder, the callees you'll find this is where you want to put the published projects for module one, module two, and module three. So let's go in there and we'll just drag these in like so. And we can close this and let's return to our browser window and go back to where we uploaded the original project from. So let's go to Captivate Teacher 2020 and we will upload right over top of the existing menu that's there. So let's add a folder and we will select menu here. Again, we could have dragged it in uh, and we'll just go ahead and upload. Scroll down to the bottom here and click on upload and we'll just wait for that to finish. Okay, so as you can see, we've successfully uploaded the main module now with the three additional modules embedded in the Kali's folder. So let's hit close and we'll navigate to that particular folder that we've, we've set up there and we'll click on the index.html and launch it and see if we get the result that we were expecting. So this will be the main module and we have our Module 1, Module 2, Module 3. Let's click on Module 1. It now launches the new project and here we are in Module 1. And of course we can return to the main menu which will again launch the main project. So you can totally navigate from one project to the next and then of course back again using this strategy. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.